All right, it is Friday evening, and I want to do a video here on luck and coffee. Uh, I hope your day was better than theirs. Um, a, a financial institution known for shorting said that it was coming out. Uh, it's called Muddy Waters. came out and said uh, that it had received an 89-page document um, basically explaining how luck and coffee has committed fraud by overinflating their sales figures for the third quarter of 2019 by 69% and 88% in the fourth quarter of 2019. Um, not only that, but the coronavirus has caused Luck and Coffee to shut down their stores in China. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, Luck and Coffee, uh, it is a Chinese-based uh, company. They've got about 4,000 stores and um, really struggling here as of recent. But let's dive into the charts um, and see just what kind of damage happened today and where we see the stock going from here. Is there some money to be made? Are we wanting to hold off or are we just steering clear uh, and not wanting to trade this, this sucker at all? Uh, so here I have on the screen the... Um, the one minute daily chart uh, and you can see we started out around 36 bucks a share dropping or shedding almost ten dollars a share before bouncing around 27 bucks uh, and then rallying back up here to 33 dollars definitely some opportunities today to make some money specifically i was looking but did not trade right in here, right as we started falling back over. We made it up to $32 a share and then started moving back down. And again, these are no small moves. I mean, this is a 5% move here from 32 to $30. Um, so a lot of volatility. You can see the amount of volume that was being traded today, very significant, um, which was allowing this to be such a liquid stock today. Um, but Again, you know, th there were some nice buying opportunities and uh, shorting opportunities in the morning uh, as we went into the afternoon. A little bit less, you can see the volume sort of faded off. And I think uh, this was a lot of just the excitement um, uh, that was going on uh, with the news that came out. Uh, and that was leading to this big swing to the downside. Obviously, the news was not positive. Um, but then people saw it as a good deal here around $27 and kind of ate it back up to this resistance here at 33. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where I'm getting those levels from. Uh, we'll take it to the six month, uh, four hour chart. This stock's only been trading uh, not even a year. Uh, maybe I need to take it out a little bit further. Uh, IPO'd back in May of last year. Um, and uh, right right around the 25.50 mark, I think, or $25 uh, is where it came out. Lows down here around 13. But what we're looking at is this high around $27. This is in um, late July. Uh, and then we, we traded back down for some period of time. And it wasn't until the earnings came out in mid-November that we saw this momentum come out of nowhere. You can see the volume start to pick up. The price went from down here around 19 bucks a share, sending it all the way up to about $50 a share. And you can see there's about 160% gain. Um, so very impressive. Uh, but going back to this $27 price point, it was marked as the high in uh, late, or late July. Uh, we popped through it with the momentum, came back down um, through it, gained some uh, consolidation, and then we, we popped back through it and then traded in this, this uh, small channel between uh, $29 and $33. So there's our upper resistance that we were feeling today and the support that we saw around $27. Um, and, and, you know, for me... Uh, this was such a quick moving uh, stock today for me to catch that bottom down there at 27. You'd have to have had a pretty tight stop because if that thing kept falling and you got in at 27 and say it, you know, it dipped down just based off of momentum down to 26, you're already talking three and a half to four percent losses before the thing could swing back up. And I mean, you can look and see we actually went down. 
Um, about 2%, I think it's about a percent and a half down to 26.75. Yeah, there you can see up on the screen um, before seeing that bounce. So if you had a pretty tight stop, you could have been stopped out pretty quickly. Um, so, you know, it's, it's called catching a falling knife. Uh, you know, some people love doing it. It's a thrill to do it and it's, it's difficult to do, but you can lose a lot of money. If you time it wrong, you might have the right idea that the stock is going to reverse, but maybe your trading strategy doesn't allow for that much risk and you get bumped out of the trade, uh, before seeing it swing back up and, and seeing those gains that you could have had. Uh, so moving it in a little bit tighter, um, might even want to go tighter than this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and look at the 15 minute. Uh, no, we'll go back to the hourly. Okay, that shows our downward trend. So again, you know, we're coming off of these big highs around $52 a share. And we have this, this reoccurring pattern. Uh, and you can kind of see it. This isn't the best drawn line here, but you can see every time, you know, it looks as if we're gaining some support, we're consolidating, uh, and then we break down. And then we kind of consolidate, we regroup, we move back up a little bit, and then we break down again. And a lot of this is dealing with, uh, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty over in China with the virus um, breaking out. Um, so that is, that is bringing the price down as well. But, you know, this is a downward trend. So when you're just looking at the technicals here, this is a downward trend for um, LK, and this is not something that I would want to buy uh, at the moment. Now today, yes, that could have been a really good opportunity if you were watching it like a hawk and you noticed when the, the tides began to change and um, you know the, the people who were shorting or the sellers were no longer there and there were people starting to buy in because it was such a good deal. We were down over 20%. Um, but that's not always the case. You know, sometimes these things just continue to free fall. Uh, and I think some of it had to deal with how truthful these allegations were, um, if they were, uh, you know, maybe a little bit falsified. Uh, so, you know, a as more comes out uh, about the situation, as the company then speaks on, um, you know, these allegations, I think that'll give a clear direction. Uh, more on where this is going to go. If it comes out that they're true, can expect this trend to continue downward. Um, and if you're wanting to catch some of these spikes, it, there may be a possibility for that. But just be careful and be mindful when you go to trade something like this uh, of what is going on in the background. Some people may have traded this today seeing, oh, it's only down, you know, it's down 10%. This thing was just trading at $52 a share. Heck yeah, I want to buy that. Well, if you bought it when it was hit, when it was down 10% today, say uh, right in here around 32 bucks a share, uh, you know it, it continued dipping. And if you you held it all the way to the bottom, you were down another, you were down 24%. So uh, you know you just got to be mindful of what all is going on. Um, if if you're really watching it like a hawk and you see something, an opportunity to buy in. Just go for it, you know, and if it turns out to be wrong, figure out why it was wrong. You know, what what did you do in the trade? Uh, did you jump in too early? Did you not set a stop? Were your target levels um, a little bit over the top or maybe were they a little bit too low, um, leaving your margin for profit too low? Um, you know, just all sorts of things. If you see it, jump in, and, you know, that's the way you're going to learn. The quicker you lose money, the better uh, you learn and grow from there. So. I hope you guys found this video helpful and just my 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 oversight or my view here on Luckin. We are currently underneath this resistance at 33 bucks a share. Again, we did pierce above it, um, but didn't close above it, and we didn't hold near it. We actually closed 50 cents off, and then you can see here the price is uh, right around 32 bucks a share. Uh, so as we move into next week, I would see this thing continuing to fall maybe somewhere around this $30 price point before gaining some sort of stability. Uh, again, I think there needs to be some more news released on it um, or at least a statement on, on these accusations. So uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, and leave a comment if you did or something that you, you would want to see changed or how I can better these videos for you guys. Um, but thank you guys, as always, for watching.